Okay, so it is 8.56 and I just got to Michelle's because I called Kinsley James yesterday, which is a bridal studio here in LA. I went to them to view first wedding dresses. Um, I didn't end up going with them, but I really liked their space. They had a lot of really good reception dresses, so like second dresses, party dresses, whatever. Um, so I called them yesterday and I was like, hi, I know that my wedding is literally next month, but do you guys sell any samples of like party dresses or is it easy to get some of those in in like a, just a few weeks? There's a bug. Um, because I wasn't gonna change and now with the dress drama, I'm like, I feel like I have to change. So they were like, yeah, actually we have a cancellation today at 10 a.m. So I was like, cool. I texted Michelle, I was like, hey, do you want to like come with me? We can like grab lunch and like take a picture and you know, just mosey around. And she was like, yeah. So that's why I am picking her up. Um, I'm hoping that they have something that I like. I really liked a dress that they had. I viewed it in, I think it was like October. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that one just because it is really like intricate and I, I remember them saying, oh my god, they're such a cute dog. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> a little angel. Um, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that one only because, wow, that guy didn't even know if there was a car and he let his dog cross without a leash. Cool. Not without a leash, like he was like, he was far, far ahead and his dog was running across the street. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one, which I am gonna put into the universe that I can. So let's just, let's just say I am going to get that one. Although it is really intricate and like she said, it takes a while to make because there's like a lot of, like there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff going on with it. Maybe, just maybe, lucky girl syndrome they're gonna be like, oh my God, we actually have two. This is the sample, it's your exact size. You can just buy it right now. And so that's what's gonna happen today, guys. That is what's gonna happen. Mark my words. All right, let's go. Hi, Shelly. Oh, hello. What's going on? Oof. In your Calvins? In my Calvins, full Calvin girl. You're a full Calvin girl. Cute. This one's giving body. Yeah, what do you think? This one's not bad. I, I don't mind this one. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I was feeling the same way. And I also feel a little bit shorter in it because the they come down so long. I feel like... What are you thinking? I... I mean, I definitely like this one. I feel like it's... What if you wore like a small veil with it, like a little blusher? Okay. Hi guys. Um, I forgot that I was vlogging yesterday. Always, every single time. I'm like, it's it's just so hard to remember. I am making a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich right now because I'm just craving it, and I've already had my protein shake for my breakfast, and. I don't know, I just wanted a little half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But while I am, oh, all of this stuff is out. I don't know if you can even tell. The screen's really dark, but all this stuff is out because we're having um, Michelle and Ashley and Brennan over for taco night. So, okay, so I forgot that I was vlogging yesterday and the dresses were pretty. They didn't have a lot only because um, they only had a certain number of dresses that like were available um, to get here in time, which is less than, which is just about a month basically. So I only could try on three dresses, but they do have a good selection if you are not on a time crunch. I just didn't love any of them. And to be honest, it was definitely more expensive than I wanted to spend. I'm not gonna lie. So it was the last dress. It was the dress with um, the sequins and like the, body that was kind of like giving hips, you know? That was the one that I liked the most, but it was $6,200. And I was like, 6,200? And not that it's, 
not that it's not a beautiful dress, it's a beautiful dress, but I was just like, that's a little bit much. I'm not saying that the dress wasn't pretty because it was, I thought it was like really pretty. It just like, I wasn't in love with it. And for that much money, it's like, I get that I have like, by the way, the dress was actually like 5,800 or something like that, but then they had to tack on like a $1,500 um, rush fee. They were giving me a discount because they were like, if you post in it, like that would be great. But even with the discount, I was like, I, I was so thankful. But at the same time, I was like, I get that it has to be rushed, but at that price point, I would want it to be like something that I was like absolutely, up I like loved. So anyway, I was like, let's go to lunch and let's talk about it. Cause Michelle was like, you should get it, you should get it. And I was like, I just like, that's really freaking expensive. Like, I don't know. And she was like, you have no other option. Like, you know? So I was like, let's go to lunch and we'll talk about it. I ended up sending it in the group chat and decided not to get it. I don't wanna say that I was being pressured at the bridal place. It's just, you want time to think about it. And I did have to place the order that day in order for it to get to me in time. So with that being said, I did feel a little bit of pressure, but it was pressure that had to be because they needed to get it in that day for me to get it in time. John just got home. Where did you go? I didn't know where they, I like, didn't realize that you left. John went back to the grocery store. Cause we're having, um, we're having Michelle and Ashley. The what? The West Side. Yeah, we're having Michelle, Ashley and Brennan over for taco night. And John just went to the grocery store and then I like, couldn't figure out where he went. And he just got home and he said that he had to go back to the grocery store. Anyways, so that was the, that's the situation with the reception dress. And I'm just happy that, that I was able to find something on those two websites. Um, I would say maybe the big one, the big round one. No, like the, the over to the left, to the left, to the left. Yeah, that one. And then the one with the ribbed, maybe. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. They're exactly the same. Okay. This one? Yeah. This is the other bouquet. I feel like I was hesitant at first, but it actually is really pretty. I feel like I probably should cut the tulips a little, but we're just gonna let it ride. Like we saw last night. No, this one. Oh, 69. Hello. Oh, how, are you? how are you? This is John. Hi. Hi. John. Nice to meet you. John. So, so much. So many things. <laughs> so many things. Thank you for letting us borrow her last time. Yeah. It's not as crazy as it sounded. We just were not. Sounded I was cool. like, what time did you get in? I know. And like, it wasn't even like crazy. I was, I was like, we had a fun night. Yeah. Okay, guys. My reception dress you guys know i've been having dress drama for the wedding and i ordered two reception dresses after i went to kinsley james with michelle because i didn't like anything and then i was getting really nervous and i basically like express shipped two dresses one like they were the last dresses of their style 
and there was only one size left of each and both of them were like similar to my size and I was like okay like we can finesse if it's like a little bit off but I like both of these styles so I ordered them both I have not gotten a confirmation it's been a week I haven't gotten a confirmation from one of them so I need to check on that but one of them just arrived so I'm probably not going to show you guys this until later because I want to you know keep it a little bit of a surprise so fucking annoying right but it just got here, so I'm gonna open it up, and I mean, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Guys, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because you wanna know why? I okay. I checked the size chart on this, and the waist was gonna be too big, but the boobs were gonna be too small. Let's just see if it's even the right dress first. Okay. Okay. Good. Good call. Good call. John, come in here. John was like, okay. John was like, it's probably not even the right dress knowing you. And I'm like, well, you're not wrong. I hope it's the right. Okay, it is, it is, it is, it is. It's the right, at least it's the right seller. Is it the right company? <laughs> it's the right company because I know that they have yellow boxes. So it's the right company. Look, it came with this nice little folder. My Teresa. Okay. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Okay. Alright. Does it fit? I feel like it's not bad. I don't know how much higher should it be. Yeah, I mean, if I mean you, it should be like up here. If you can pull it up higher, wouldn't it be? Uh, couldn't you? Do okay, it? undo it. Yeah. I have to pull it. Okay. I mean, it fits. I feel like it's not that. I mean, at all. it fits. Like. Let me see the back. I mean, it fits. Let me see the back. I mean, I think it looks fine, no. I think I would just maybe get it like shortened a little tiny bit. I feel like if I could get it taken up just a tinge, because I am short, kind of like this, it would look really good. Ooh, I love getting a hot car. It is my favorite thing ever, because I'm usually so fucking cold. But anyway. I am going to go get my nails done. I have not gotten my nails done since before The Bachelorette. So that is like over a month, I think. Yes, definitely. I got them done like five weeks ago, which makes me really happy because I am gonna be away for like four and a half weeks. And yeah, they're not great. My nails definitely don't look great but they don't look like absolutely tragic. That's like the best part about getting like a neutral nail is that they don't look bad when they grow out. So the issue that I'm having is that I leave for the wedding in like two and a half weeks, like a little less than two and a half weeks. And that's just like, that's just like such a little amount of time, you know? And, but I have to get my nails done. So I'm gonna get my nails done and then I guess just get them done again in two weeks, which is like, just sounds crazy, but some girlies do it. But I don't know what I'm gonna get done today. It doesn't really matter because two weeks is like not that long of a time to be with nails. I think I'm just gonna go with like white and then maybe do like a little blue heart or something. To the girlies who can actually vlog or TikTok or Instagram reels, whatever you wanna call it, a nail appointment, like more power to you because I don't know how like you can do it and like film it while your nails are wet and then they're like yelling at you being like, don't get your nails, don't like touch anything. Um, I panicked of course, as per usual. And I, I got funny bunny. I got funny bunny. I don't really care, but they look good. The shape is good. These are my real nails. I am so happy with the length of them. This is definitely the length that I want for the wedding. Um, yeah, bro, there's like shit in my fucking nails and I can never see in there either. But once I get out into the light, I'm like, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We just did something a little bit wild. Ah! Um, we tanned John. 
actually today because he bought this like tanning mousse. It's called Bro Glow. Like I'm literally, it's probably the same exact thing that I use, but no, it's just like, I but it's just bought like. bought it because yours are extra no, 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 dark. No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm, sh I'm sure it's probably the same exact formula as a girl's brand, but they just like marketed it to a boy, you know? Um, but it's called Bro Glow. Can I see it? Specially and formulated for men. Specially formulated for men. Um, Bro Glow body tanner for the boys. And we did it today. We've ha we've had this for probably like six months and we just did it today because we were like, let's just try it out. And it's actually pretty good. Let's see. So we didn't do his legs because it doesn't really matter, but like it hasn't set in yet and it's only supposed to be like light. So we put it on what? Like probably six hours ago, maybe, maybe four hours ago. Where's my cheek? June's his cheek. Well, you can kind of see. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. So we will be back with a final review of that self tanner. I'm gonna work out now, and then I'm gonna try. Yeah, John it. was like, "Can you tan me?" And I was like, "Okay, sounds good." And then he was like, "All right, I'm gonna go work out." And I was like, "No, no, 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 no. That's not how this works." And then also he got out of the shower. He got out of the shower and was like, "Okay, can you tan me?" And I was like, "No, that's not how this works. Like, you have to wait at least like an hour or two, and then we'll do it." And so yeah. Anyways. Liking my nails, look at my cell tanner. It's fucking trash right now. I have to redo it, but um, I'm gonna go try on some things that I got from Revolve and maybe I'll show you guys, cause why not? Probably like a really bad angle, but this is the first dress. It's for Love and Lemons. And I think that it's really cute, but I think that I would have to get it taken in. Like, I'm not really sure what this like pouch situation is like i literally feel like a kangaroo i feel like it should have been like like just i don't understand this part you know like why would it the materials just not be like connected and i feel like that looks so much cuter i do have this in black and i think that it's way cuter um i still like it but i feel like for like 250 dollars like i just feel like i should love it and I don't know, I think it'd be cute for like a bridal shower or a bridal shower or like an engagement party or even like engagement pictures. But I just, I can't get over like why this looks like this. Like I would literally just have to like pin it and it looks so much cuter. I tried this one on when I was in New York and I wanted to love it, but like, you know how like fluorescent lights when they are on you and you're already not having a good like self-esteem day? Yeah, that's basically what it was. So I was like, you know what? I'm in a better headspace now. Let's try it again. So I ordered it and yeah, no, it's too big here. Again, a little bit too small here. Like my nips are literally about to pop out. So nar, I don't think so. Also like it is so cute, but like shit, this slit is literally like my butt is out. So I wish that it was just a little bit more close, maybe like that. And then it would be a little bit less like exposing, but yeah, this one is going back. Um, this one is really cute. Also from Retrofit and I got an extra small. It fits really well. This part is a little bit big and I don't know if you can tell, but like the straps are this like bejeweled situation because the back is like so freaking cute, but you can't adjust it. So like if you are smaller chested or even if you're bigger chested, I have like, pretty big boobs, I would say. Um, I'm like this close to a nip slip, but I think it's so pretty. It's double lined, the material is great, and I'm gonna be keeping this one. Guys, the dress came in. My fucking dress came in. Oh my God, I just got a text. Hold on, let me put you guys down. I just got a text, which we're gonna unpack it. We are definitely gonna unpack it, but hold on. Okay, so don't mind all of this. But I have been putting off texting this girl from God. Well, you guys are gonna know where my dress is from, so who cares? But I've been putting off texting this girl from the dress place. And I have just like been nervous because I'm just like, I, in my head, I'm just like, the longer I wait, the longer they have to like, get it in and like if they say it's not in and then I'm gonna like start freaking out even more. So I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and putting it off and I could not put it off any further because like 
it was just like weighing on me and all of my friends were like like you need to fucking text her you need to know like where the dress is because if not there needs to be a plan b okay so i text her today first of all let me like backtrack a tiny little bit um the last two correspondence i've had with her were like a month ago and then um two weeks after that which was two weeks ago so it's been like a month and then two weeks and then I hadn't heard from her for two weeks. But both of those correspondence, she said, I will let you know as soon as they ship it, as soon as I have confirmation that they shipped it, I will let you know and then you will, we will see when it's gonna be here and then we're gonna schedule you for your appointment. Cause I still need alterations. Um, so I was like, okay, like sounds good. So this whole time I'm like, this fucking shit is still in Israel because she has not messaged me that my dress has shipped yet. Like she told me that she would message me. So I'm getting like really nervous. So I finally text her today and I was like, hey, like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking read it to you guys. I'm just gonna fucking read it to you guys because you guys are my people. Um, okay. I said, hi, I'm checking in to see if you're able to provide me with any updates about my dress since we were officially two weeks out from when I leave. Have you been in communication with the team in Israel? Do they have a rough estimate of when this, of when the dress is going to be complete and shipping over to us? And when they do ship, how long does it typically take? Any information that you can provide me would be helpful as I'm getting super anxious and I'm just looking for some peace of mind. Okay, that was at 12 o'clock, 11.55. She messages me at 1.05, an hour later. Hey Blake, your dress arrived this morning. And like, while that's amazing, I'm so happy that my dress arrived. I'm also like, did it actually just arrive this morning? Or like, are you just, did you just like forget about me again? Like you said that you would tell me when it shipped and you didn't. And then I just so happened to text you today of all days. And then you said, oh, it just arrived today. Like. Be fucking for real, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't fucking believe you. I don't know why, like maybe I'm just like so mad at them with all of the trauma that they put me through, but like I just don't believe that the day that I texted when I should have texted them like last week, it came in within an hour. Anyway, she said, the dress arrived this morning. I'm reviewing everything with Gabby the seamstress to find out when we'll have everything ready for you to come in. I'll reach out to you shortly. Um, and then I scheduled it for Friday. So we leave in like two weeks and uh, oh my God, I'm so happy. Kelsey's coming with me because you know that she can put her foot down when she needs to. I, I mean, I can do it, but like, I don't trust myself. I'm, I can't do it. What am I even saying? There's no fucking way that I'd be able to do it. So anyway, I'm so freaking happy. Um, I'm just like, fucking ecstatic. Oh, by the way, John's tanner looks amazing. Um, I'll link the tanner below because I low key want to try it. It's so fucking, it's called bro glow dude. And like the packaging, I should go get it. But the packaging literally has a guy on like a, on a horse, like opening his, it's, I, I can't. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys because I'm so freaking excited. I'm just so nervous that it's not going to be right. But you know what? If it's not right, then we're going to have a plan B and that's all we can do. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Bye guys.